Hi friends, today we are going to be learning about crops and the various crops that we can find on farming land. Here we go. Crops. Six crops. Each of them is different. All are alike in some way. Cranberries, wheat, cotton, potatoes, oranges, and sugar cane. Cranberries. The cranberry is a little fruit with a big taste. The farmer plants cranberry vines in bogs. These vines live for many years. Bogs are wet areas of land. This is the cranberry plant. To harvest cranberries, farmers flood the bogs. Harvesters knock the berries off the vines. The berries float to the top of the water. Then they are gathered. These farmers are harvesting cranberries. They use this cool machine to help them. Cranberries add a sharp, sweet taste to many foods. We have the cranberry muffin, cranberry juice, mmm, and cranberry sauce. Wheat. Wheat is one of the most important crops in the world. 10,000 years ago, people planted wheat. They used simple tools. This is the wheat plant. Today, wheat farmers use machines. One machine plows the fields. The plow breaks up the soil. Another machine drops seeds into the soil and covers them up. Protecting the crop. Farmers need to control insects and weeds. These pests can harm the crops. We have a grasshopper and a cutworm. Farmers use a machine to harvest the wheat. The machine cuts the stalks, then it separates the kernels from the plant. Wheat prices are always changing. Prices go up when the supply is low and the demand is high. Prices go down when the supply is high and the demand is low. Most people in America use wheat products every day. Everything in this photo is made from the wheat plant. <gasps> Breakfast food. Cereal, flour, boxes, bread, a straw hat, and colored pasta. Cotton. Cotton is cool. Almost everyone wears it. The ripe cotton plant produces fibers. These fibers are like tiny hairs and they're used to make cloth. A flower becomes a ball. After the petals fall off the flowers, the seed pod starts to grow. The seed pod becomes a ball. Silky fibers grow from the seeds inside the ball. When the ball opens, the cotton is ready to harvest. Cotton farmers plant seeds in the raised beds of soil. The beds keep the seeds nice and warm. Sprinklers spray water over the cotton plants. For many years, people picked cotton by hand. Oh, man, such hard work. In some countries, they still do. Kudos to them. I give them props. It is hard work. Now, most farmers in the U.S. use machines. A cotton picker pulls the cotton from the balls. It's a great time saver. Cotton cloth is cool in the summer. It is warm in the winter. It is soft. It is strong. It is easy to clean. Almost everyone wears cotton. Do you? Other products made from the cotton plant. Every part of cotton plant is useful. It is used to make all of these products. Cotton balls, cotton swabs, thread, soap, yarn, salad dressing, and cooking oil. Potatoes. The potato may not look pretty, but people love it. The potato is America's favorite vegetable. The potato is a root vegetable called a tuber. The tubers grow on the stems underground. Here's the potatoes. Idaho is the perfect place for growing potatoes. Farmers use machines to plant the seed potatoes. The machines plant up to six rows of potatoes at a time. Potatoes grow from small potatoes called seed potatoes. Whoa, 
That's crazy. Three to 20 potatoes can grow from each plant. Oh my goodness. Farmers cultivate or turn the soil to kill weeds growing in the fields. No, oh, we don't want any weeds. We just want the potato. The farmer uses potatoes combined to harvest the crop. The combine digs up the plants. It separates the potatoes and loads them into a truck. There's a couple different types of potatoes. There's a russet potato, a Yukon gold potato, a purple potato, and a red potato. Fried, baked, boiled, mashed, a potato tastes great no matter what and how you cook it. Mmm, oranges. The orange is like a little piece of the sun. It has a sunny color and a sweet, sunny taste. That's a great analogy. Navel oranges has no seeds. California grows most of the navel oranges in the United States. Orange trees are planted in groves like this. Whoa, that's big. Oranges are harvested by hand. Look at the mussels. Oh, so big. Oranges are mostly used to make juices. Some are sold as fresh fruit. Oils from oranges are used in foods and perfume. <gasps> perfume, cookies, marmalade, candies, orange juice. Mmm, so many great things you can do. And sugar cane. All green plants produce sugar, but sugar cane produces sugar that people like to eat. Mm, do you friends like sugar? I bet you do. I like sugar too. This is what sugar cane looks like. Farmers plant sugar cane buds from the stalk. New plants grow from the buds. The first crop is set on fire. <gasps> Wait, let's read that again. The first crop is set on fire. The fire burns off the leaves. Then the cane is cut by hand or harvested by a machine. Oh, did you guys know that? I didn't know that. The harvest fire lasts only for a few minutes. The stalks do not burn because they have a hard shell. They also contain a lot of water. The biggest product from sugar cane is sugar, of course. Ah, oh, who knew? Now you know farming can be sweet. Oh, brown sugar, sugar cubes, raw sugar, granulated sugar, and molasses. So our six crops are cranberry, wheat, cotton, potato, orange, and sugar cane. Thanks for learning about crops with me. I hope you learned something new. Mwah. See you later, friends.